Hi everybody, it's David from Doctors of Running and today we have a juicy head-to-head -head matchup. We have the Saucony Terminal VT and the Nike Dragonfly. This is going to be a spike head-to-head, -head, so this is obviously a very niche comparison and review, but for those that are looking at track spikes, we have gotten these questions a lot, especially with this being a new super spike on the market. So this is some of the comparisons that we have. And so taking a look at some similarities, they're both distance track spikes. They both use a P-back spike plate. They both use new generation midsole. So for the Dragonfly, there's no secret. We're using the Zoomex midsole that we've seen in the Vaporfly. And in the Terminal VT, we are using the Power Run HG seen in the Saucony Endorphin Elite. So not the Power Run PB that we've seen in the Endorphin Pro 3 or the other series, Endorphin Speed, things like that. This is the other midsole that is in the Saucony Endorphin Elite. So both super spikes, both distance spikes. One little difference here, just looking at basic design. One's a four spike plate, that's being the Terminal VT. One's a six spike plate in the Dragonfly. And I don't seem to notice too much of a difference there as far as on foot feel goes. The spike plate is full length in both of these. However, you can notice it's covered on the Dragonfly, but it's spooned out and it runs full length through the heel there. In the Terminal VT, very surface level, and it's actually split, and it runs along the medial and lateral aspect and basically makes a little horseshoe up at the top of the shoe. So you have that midline groove essentially coming down through here of all that power run HG. So going on to fit and the way these shoes fit on the foot, they're actually really similar, and they both have really comfortable uppers for being spikes. They're probably two of the better fitting spikes I've ever worn, so that's a good thing. Can't really go wrong on either of these. Um, they both fit snug. They both lock down really well. They, I mean, they're actually pretty comfortable. In the past, some of the track spikes I've worn, they have not been the most comfortable because they would sacrifice. They make it just really, really lightweight, and it'd be very crumply, and the laces would really bite into your feet and it wasn't very comfortable, and I feel like they both have done a pretty good job of protecting your feet in these. Um, I will say the Terminal VT has a little bit more of a stretchy kind of knit-like tongue there, and it's also built into the platform. Like, it's not really even gusseted per se, it's like actually embedded in the lacing system. So if you look here and we come down through there, I can't really get a very good picture on the video there, but it's built into the lacing system. Technically, I'd say it's gusseted, but it's kind of in with the reinforcement from the sidewalls there. So overall, it's embedded in the lacing system itself, and it's not like a separate entity. So it's all kind of a very sock-like fit around the foot. Um, I mean, it fits like a normal track spike, you know, relatively snug in the heel, midfoot, forefoot. It is decently roomy, I think, in the forefoot for a track spike. I think both of these models are. So as far as fit goes, they're actually pretty darn similar as far as on foot. When we take a look at the ride, that's where things start to differ a little bit. And these are both really fun shoes. And like taking a look at specs down the line, I mean, everything is pretty similar. Like we ran through everything. Uh, only main thing, I'm a men's 9.5. This Dragonfly here was 4.4 ounces in my size when I put it on. Um, and weighed it just before the video. The Terminal VT in my size is a 4.2 ounce, so the Terminal VT is a little bit lighter. It does feel that way. I, it feels lighter than 0.2 ounces, and I know listed weight is like high threes, I believe. So, I mean, it seems consistent with what the spec sheets say, but on foot, this does feel more nimble. The Terminal VT feels lighter. It feels just a little bit of a quicker spike. Um, like if I was to look at 800 or 1500, like I probably would go Terminal VT. Like it's just a very fun, lightweight spike. And the Dragonfly feels a little bit more distance specific. And they're both distance spikes, but the, the thing that I feel on the foot the most when I'm transitioning over the forefoot, this Terminal VT feels almost like a spike from the old days. Like it feels kind of like the original Nike Vaporfly, or it reminds me a lot of the Brooks Wire. Um, I mean, the back and the OG ones where you had dragons on the heel, if any of the viewers, if any of the viewers remember that. Um, but kind of like that old school, low stack type of feel to it. And I think a lot of that is also because you have this full length, just textured outsole plate embedded in the shoe. And um, you just feel very connected and you feel very grounded in this spike in the Terminal VT. 
the dragonfly feels a little bit more vapor fly -y, if that makes sense a lot of people have already run in this it's a little bit more spongy it definitely has a lot of responsiveness through the forefoot and you can certainly run pretty much any distance you want in the dragonfly um, I, that's the main difference I probably would say is that forefoot feeling from midfoot through the forefoot. It feels a little bit more spooned out in the dragonfly and it feels like you have a little bit more of a cushion in the forefoot when you're landing. Whereas the Terminal VT feels a little bit more like that traditional spike, but there's still plenty of cushioning. It has the Power on HG on there. Power on HG is just a tad bit firmer than Zoom X. And so even though you have great responsiveness and cushioning, it still just feels a tad bit firmer. So it, this one feels a little bit more lighter, a little bit more grounded, um, potentially a little bit more snappy. I mean, they both are super responsive shoes and they're both decently stiff, um, but they still have a little bit of give for spike plates from the past. So um, very, very similar spikes, but they have just a slightly different on foot feel. And so if you like that more traditional, nimble, lightweight type of spike, the Terminal VT might be your go-to if you want something a little bit more cushy in the forefoot, kind of keep it going through 5K, 10K, etc. I'd probably look more at the Dragonfly if we're looking at track spikes specifically between these two. So that's the comparison of the Saucony Terminal VT and the Nike Dragonfly.